Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World. My name is Shaq. We have another fantastic signing day in Sydney, Australia. Today I'll be talking about cheap aftermarket brake and clutch levers, as you guys can see, and why not to buy them for your motorcycles. But before that, guys, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. These are cheap aftermarket brake and clutch levers. You can basically get them off Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress. I bought this off AliExpress. It only cost me $30. You guys might think it's very good value for your money, which is not. I had this on my 2017 model CBR 1000RR for less than two months. So as I was riding from work back to my house, um, it's usually about a half an hour ride. During that half an hour ride, the clutch lever, it felt like it was getting softer and softer. So each time I squeezed the clutch lever, it was getting softer and softer. So every five to 10 minutes during that half an hour ride, I actually had to adjust my clutch cable. I thought somebody was playing a prank on me at work, which wasn't the case. When I got home, it was roughly about five o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to have a look at the bike. I left the bike inside the garage. I said I'll have a look at it when I wake up in the morning or afternoon. When I woke up in the afternoon, I had to look at my bike. About 70% of the clutch was gone, the clutch cable. And there was a bit left, so it was just about to snap. I gave Jason from Riding Rubber a call. He's, he's my mechanic. He's been servicing my motorcycles for years. I'll put his links in the description. I go, Jason, what the hell is going on? This shouldn't happen. It's a brand new motorcycle. He said, Shaq, when you're putting a $30 brake and clutch lever on your $15,000, $20,000 bike, you get what you paid for. We're actually changing the clutch cable on a GSXR as well because he put the same cheap um, brake and clutch levers as yours on his motorcycles. So I said, okay, Jason, I'll bring it in. You can change the class cable for me. However, I was too scared to ride my bike from my house to Jason's workshop because the class cable was just about to snap. It could snap anytime. So I said, I will leave it and I'll call a transportation company. Call the transportation company. They transported my motorcycle from my house to Jason's workshop cost me hundred dollars. It cost me another hundred dollars for Jason to put a genuine Honda clutch cable and to fit it on as well. So that's including the labor. So all up, it cost me two hundred dollars and another thirty dollars for these brake and clutch levers. And this is basically rubbish. So if you add them all up, it cost me two hundred thirty dollars for this rubbish. I could have actually spend $150 and still um, save $50, $60 and get an ASV or Rizoma brake and clutch lever instead of this. So now I have no use for this. This is basically rubbish. So I'm just telling you guys what I know from my own experience, from my own mistakes, so you guys don't make the same mistakes as I've made. And I'm lucky the brake cable didn't snap either because that would have been very dangerous because your clutch, your brakes and your accelerator has to be perfect so any of those things can go if it goes wrong it could cost you your life i mean like i heard instances where people's brake cable um snapped and they lost their life or their clutch cable snapped they lost their life um as you guys can see i'm so lucky the brake cable didn't snap as well as you guys can see here there's a small ball here it's supposed to move very freely. This hardly moves. So as I was squeezing the brake and clutch lever, there was a small delay because of these cheap aftermarket brake and clutch levers. When I put the genuine back on, on my motorcycle, there's no delays anymore. And it feels a lot better. And since then, I put another maybe 7,000 kilometers on my motorcycle. I had zero issues. So guys, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos.